welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been good and I hope you've had a good week so far. My week has been crazy as usual. If this is your first time visiting, I hope you do stay and watch the video and I hope you find it beneficial. So today we're going to be doing a makeup um, tutorial that has got a little bit of that soft glam to it. It's not like overly heavy and over the top kind of makeup, but it just, you know, has a little bit of that, you know, special ingredient. So without much further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to be starting out with my brows and I'm going to be using a dark brown eyeliner, the Disco Dark Brown Eyeliner. And I'm just going to outline my brows with it. So I'm going to start first by brushing my brows upward strokes. So I'm going to be feeling my brows with the Freedom, Freedom Be Free To Makeup Pro Eyebrow Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade. It's like a waxy brown shade. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be using our concealer that in the color Warm Honey. In two different colors of concealers, and I'm going to start with the bottom part of my brows first. And I'm just going to apply that all over the bottom of my eyelids, following the shape I've drawn on. Gonna be applying some of the same shade of concealer over my eyelids just to make sure it doesn't get slippery when I do apply the eyeshadow. Now I'm going over the top of my brows with the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fun. So eyebrows done, so I'm going to be using the Tara palette and I'm going to be going in with this brown. So it's basically, I'm going to sweep it all over my eyes. I'm going to sweep it gently across the crease and connecting it back to the lower bottom eyelid. So clean sweep and then connect it to the outer corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Rose Colored Gold Nudes Collection. And I'm going to be going in with, yeah, with that shade for my transition color.
Okay, so next in, I'm going to be using like a pinkish hue eyeshadow. I'm going to be going with my um, Tara palette once again in this shade. be going in with my absolutely favorite eyeliner drum roll I'm gonna show it to you it's a drugstore brand and I just find it's been you see I think I'm one of those people that have just um, once I lock in on something I like it's really hard for me to sort of uh, to change so if you do have any recommendations that will be awesome but I do absolutely love this eyeliner been using it for 10 years plus and my older sister introduced it to me so it is the Rimmel exaggerate eyeliner I love this it, it you know it just gives you that precision in the wing you know what I mean just make sure you keep your eyeliner as close to your lash line as possible I'm gonna be popping my mascara on gonna be putting my foundation on now and the foundation I'm totally loving this this period is the L'Oreal true match foundation I find it so light it's like really featherweight and it just goes right into your skin without you blending and blending and all of that because you know I don't have time to start blending 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 but this one just basically goes into your skin so I'm gonna be Popping it all over my face, not ignoring my neck area. I really like the look and feel. It's quite dewy, but at the same time, not too, not too um, slippery, if you know what I mean. It just goes right into your skin. And, you know, sometimes I even go out without using a setting powder. That's how much it just stays on your skin and sort of mattifies itself onto it. So next up is lashes. So lashes on. The next thing I'm going to be doing is lining my waterline with a disco eyebrow pencil and that is in black. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the eyeshadow I applied earlier, the pink eyeshadow, and just popping a bit al along my outer corner. So concealer time. I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer again in the color One Toast to just put um, to conceal under my eye area and all of the necessary areas. I'm going to be setting my concealer with the Colors Limited Translucent Powder. So I'm going to be contouring, I'm going to be contouring with a dark shade from my classic, from my classic blush palette. I'm going to be using that shade.
So I'm going to be using this purple for my slick palette for under my eye area. So I'm going to be spraying my face with the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Spray. Just just make sure my makeup stays in place. So I'm going to be highlighting my face with the with the Freedom Pro Highlight Glow. So I'm just going to be highlighting my nose under my brows. I'm going to be using my slick palette and I'm going to be using this blusher. for lips so I'm gonna be going with a bold um, lipstick today I'm gonna to be starting out with lining in my lips with a lip pencil so I'm gonna be using the NK lip liner in in the most So guys, it's a wrap. I really enjoyed doing this video today and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and please subscribe. Please drop me a comment as well. I'd totally, totally love to hear from you. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I can't wait to touch base with you soon. Hugs and kisses.